Hey everyone, Glenn Victor here. We're at the United Safety Council August Networking Luncheon here at the beautiful Crave Restaurant in Orlando. Our speaker this month is Mike Walked from the Sunrail Project. We're so happy to have Mike back again to talk to us about the project. Some of you may recall Mike spoke to us about a year ago and he's here today to give us an update on where we're at with the Sunrail Project. What Sunrail does is it opens up transportation. So people who depend on transit to get to back and forth to work, they can now go longer distances in less time, which opens up you know, tremendous opportunities for employment, which benefits the individual as well as the company. Um, for people who are not, that are regular commuters, um, we've got great bedroom communities north of the Orlando area and a lot of jobs between the two hospitals, Florida Hospital and Orlando Health. So it does benefit those people. We're also seeing uh, a rise in development because of Sunrail and around Sunrail. You know, Buddy Dyer talks about downtown Orlando, more than half a billion dollars worth of development in the downtown Orlando area because of Sunrail, and that includes the Creative Village development. Sunrail, of course, is going to change the face of Central Florida, have a huge impact on the way we all work, live, and play here in Central Florida. The stations where the trains will pick passengers up and drop them off will all have condominiums, retail outlets, restaurants, entertainment establishments, and it truly will change the way we all work and play. Uh, it's very exciting. Uh, I've seen Central Florida grow up through the years. It's just amazing. I've been here for a long time, but uh, the future is just unbelievable what this will impact us for transportation, um, living in the areas of the stations and so forth. From what I understand, it's going to be a great impact. I think it'll be good. It'll allow people to get from point A to point B quicker. As you know, I-4 cannot always be uh, the best uh, form and can really cause delays. So. I think all in all it'll be a positive for Central Florida and a lot of the other cities will mimic the formula and probably try to copy it once it gets undergoing. Opening day is really our solid projection of 4,300 daily boardings, um, which adds up to about uh, 2,150 people round trip each day. That's our projection. Well, if it brings more people to the area, it's always good to have, uh, when in the manufacturing business, we always need really good trained people. and. Um, so if it brings more people, then we should have more access to great employees. Um, I live close to two of the stations, and I've seen the progression from the beginning to one in the end and one in the progress. And I'm excited about what it's going to bring to um, the neighboring you know, cities around me as far as jobs um, and just being able to be able to commute more without having to spend so much money. You can relax instead of having to you know, be on the road in your car. Sometimes I sit on traffic two and a half hours a day just coming from Deltona into Orlando. So to me it's a great benefit um, and if we look at uh, companies like Starwood, you know, perhaps it might be something for them to consider to offer to their employees here locally as well. It's very nice. It's, it has the everything that you want on it. it it's time-saving compared to being on uh, I-4 for an hour or two at a time being stuck in traffic. The, uh, the Sunrail get you to your destination on the same time every day. We had a lot of fun here today. Lots of different people from different businesses, government agencies and industries, networking, exchanging business cards. It's a tremendous opportunity for me as well as for everybody in this room to, to meet others from other industries and industries like ours to be able to talk and, and understand what we all go through and what, we, what our expectations are. Well, to me, it's a great opportunity for me to network with people that are not traditionally in my industry. So having a social event like this allows opportunity to network amongst each other within different respective fields or industries and then share ideas. And that's the most common goal, to be able to share ideas, to promote safety, and to give out the knowledge and pass it along to employees and so forth. It's a good thing. It's networking. It's for the greater good of the community. We can share insights, ideas on how to make our community safer, better, and stronger uh, as a whole. We need to get accurate information out there about Sunrail. So these events are, are just a wonderful opportunity for us. I think it's great. It's a great uh, spot for everyone to network. It's, it's usually members of the council and hopefully sometimes they'll bring in friends from other businesses and that'll create more membership and uh, more networking. It helps to share, at the very least it helps to know that other people are in the same boat as you. 
We hope to see you at our next networking luncheon. And by the way, if you might like to speak or have a speaker in mind, just give us a call, get a hold of us anytime. We'd love to have you come out and join us. And if you would, don't forget to go to our Facebook page, give us a like. And once again, we hope to see you at the next United Safety Council networking luncheon.